Get up, leave my house. Get up and never show yourself here again. Just calm down. Calm down. Listen to me. If I go back, explain. Listen. If I see you here again, I'll get you arrested. Madam, Madam, please. Madam, please don't do this, please. And I shut up your mouth and take the kids inside. Get out! What is wrong with you? Get out! Please, don't do this. Shut your mouth, Madam. Mommy, take the kids inside. Shut up! Take the kids inside. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Where do you want me to go? Where do you want me to go? I'm going to help all I can. I do not want to know. Go to hell and burn to blazes. Let me explain. Babe, let me explain, please. Honey. improvements and that is what we collectively refer to as progress my joy introducing you to nollywood number one television nollywood number one tv on youtube by patience also g or general you are free to subscribe is more beautiful than the pictures you sent. I love it. Wait till you see the interior. Uh-huh. <laughs> ah. Baby, who's she? This is the house help. Her name is Nana. Nana, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. You're welcome to Nigeria. Thank you. And children, how are you? Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 They're beautiful children. Oh, I was going to help with that. Let's go inside, yeah? Yeah. So, I hope you're adjusting well to the ninja weather. I'm coping fine. Are you sure? Because mm -hmm. you know how very sweaty you get. <laughs> I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, babe. That reminds me. Mm. I've been able to secure an office space. So let's say, hopefully next week, I should be expecting my goods. Sweetheart, do you think this is a good idea? I mean, do you think selling of phones, accessories, laptops is a lucrative business? <laughs> of course, yes. Remember that I'm not selling in retail but in wholesales. Okay. I trust your judgment. Mm -hmm. Cheers to that. <laughs> it's a good thing you trust me. 
So how about our kids' school? Have you been able to find any? Oh yeah, about our kids' school, um, I came across a school advert on TV. So I was thinking maybe tomorrow or next we could go check it out. What's the name of the school? I think it's Glorious... Yeah, that's it. Glorious Kids College. I have never heard of such name before, but I'll Google it. I'll check it online. At least it's good I check it online before we go to the school. I understand. I only want my kids attending some useless school without a name. And of course, you know, I wouldn't want my kids to attend that either. <laughs> <laughs> you. Babes, aren't you going to eat? <clears throat> okay. Let me help you with that. What are you trying to do? I have hands. I'll feed you. It's my job. I'm your husband, for goodness sake. Okay. There you go. Ah, wow. My baby has a very big mouth. <laughs> Please, what's that? I don't have a big mouth, too. <laughs> Who is this? Hello? Hey, Johnson, how far? How are you doing now? Yes, I'm good, I'm good. How's family? Oh, we well, bless God for that. I hope everyone is enjoying the meal. As usual, I know. I made that fish especially for you.
people miss you. Same here. But don't worry. I promise you I won't stay long at the office today. We must still go to the office today. Can't you just drop the kids at school and come back home? Hey. Remember I told you that Mr. Johnson will be coming for the collection of his goods today. But don't worry. I'll try and come back home early so we can spend some time together before we go and pick up the kids from school. Now how about that? That'll be fine by me. That's my girl. <laughs> and the kids, by the way. Richard! Purity! We're running late. Purity! Okay, Tisha no me. All right. Nana? Nana? Yes, madam. Yes, madam. What are you doing? I just finished making the vegetable soup you told me to prepare. Just clean up the kitchen. Okay, the kids said they would like to have egg and yam sauce when they come back from school. Can you help me prepare them? Madam, that is not a problem. I'll do that. Thank you so much, Nana. You're welcome. Uh, Nana, my husband and I we were we were discussing and we decided to increase the salary. Oh, really? Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you, Ma. I really appreciate that. I, I wasn't expecting it. Thank you so much. May God bless and replenish your pockets. Nana, I just want you to know that we appreciate everything that you do. In fact, you're doing more than expected. Thank you. I do appreciate your family too. Okay. Excuse me. Oh my God. Hello? Guess what? I just got a raise. <laughs> my madam and Oga, they, they, they want to increase my salary. I'm so excited. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it, but it came. Yes. And, and how are you doing? Oh, great, great, great. You know what? I'll speak to you later. I have something to win. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. The raise. Oh, oh, oh. For goodness sake, what are you saying? No, 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 I don't want to hear any of that. I trusted you. You gave me your word and you assured me that nothing was going to happen. So what is this? Oh, please don't tell me that nonsense. You're matured enough to handle this situation. I'll talk to you later. What nonsense. Babe, hey. is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, everything is fine. Who are you talking to on the phone? The phone? Yes. <laughs> no, I, I wasn't talking to anybody. No one. Yeah. Derek, why did you end the call? Well, because it's, it's not important. It's not important, really. Derek, what is going on? These days you are very nervous and very uncomfortable around me. It's either you are ending the call or whenever you're on the phone, you are ending the call automatically. What is going on? I'm nervous. Is there something I need to know that I don't know? Babe, there is nothing going on. Believe me, nothing is going on. By the way, are the kids ready for school? Don't even go there. You know Nana is handling that. I'm asking you again, Derek, what is going on? Honey, look at me. 
believe me when I tell you that there is nothing going on. If there was anything going on, you would be the first person to know. So get that idea out of your head, okay? Chanami, how are you? Really? I'm so sorry about that. I'll see to it immediately. Nana? Nana? Madam? You called. Can you imagine? The kids teacher just called. Purity and Richard are still in school. Derek has not gone to pick them up. Oh, I wonder what must have happened. It's already five o'clock. The teacher just called that they'd be trying to reach Derek, but all his phones are switched off. I tried calling him myself. His phone is switched off. He was supposed to pick them up from school. I don't know what's going on. Well, madam, let's not waste any time. I think you should go and pick them up. You're welcome. Oh, Richard. Thank you, Richard. How was your day? It was fine. Thank you. Nana, Derek is not back yet. No, no, madam, not yet back. Why? Okay, please take the kids in. Make something for them to eat and let them freshen up. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're tired. I made your favorite. Let's go. <laughs> Bold yam and egg sauce. Let's let's go in. I can't wait. That's like your scampoo. Oh, I know you've got some. Honey, I'm so sorry. I had a very busy day at the office. Derek, your phone has been switched off since morning. I demand a concrete explanation, not these cock and boo stories you're telling me. What else do you want to hear? That thing that kept you busy, that made you not to pick this student from school. Mom, Dad, I'm shouting. I was just asking your father some questions. Mm -hmm. Dad, why did you come to pick us from school today? <sighs> Richard, I'm, I'm really sorry. So many things came up at the office. That even made you to switch off your phone. You didn't even call mom to tell her to come pick us up from school. Come on, my sweetheart. Of course, I've informed your mother that my phone was down. You know that he wanted to intentionally switch off his phone. But I promise you that this would not happen again. Okay? Okay. <laughs> This conversation is not ended yet. Okay. Hey, what, what, what do you think 
you're doing. Stop it. What's wrong with you, Judith? Look, I had a rough day at work. I'm really not in the mood. But I'm in the mood. Wait, when you start making excuses? Okay, please. Make love to me. I am your wife. Make love to me. Let's do it the way we used to do it. Please. Oh, you did stop this I now. want it. You did stop it. I just told you I'm not in the mood. At least respect that. Are you seeing someone else? Derek. <laughs> Give it to me. What is... Why are you behave? Just stop it. It's obvious you don't want me to sleep in this room tonight. Derek! Derek touched me. No doubt there must be someone out there satisfying his origin. Oh, come on, Nadam, you don't jump into conclusion. I know what I'm saying, Nana. Last night I tried touching him, he refused. He stood up and walked out of the room. That has never happened before. Did he give you any reason why he walked out? He said he had a rough day at work. Maybe he really did. Just. Give him benefit of uh, doubt. And next time, you just ask him, try and find out what really happened. I hope you had a pleasant night. Not really. Have the kids gone to school? School? It's Saturday. Oh, that's true. Where's Derek? He left quite early this morning. He said um, he needs to supply some people goods. Okay, let me check on the kids. Including your subconscious mind that may trouble someone here. Oh, no, don't you misunderstand me. Just let's just let the sleeping dog lie. Derek is bent on making me laugh at the wrong side. He thinks he knows me, but he hasn't seen the worst side of me yet. I will deal with him by the time he comes back today. 
I hear the pride speaking. And don't you forget, pride comes before the fall. Oh, please go straight to the point and stop beating around the bush. Spill it out. Is it because of all you've been telling me about your husband? Madam, please. Let's not jump into conclusions yet. This young man Derek is someone I've known for years. He is nice, constrained, kind. Come on. I don't believe he would do all these things you're accusing him of. What is love without trust? What is peace without you? Take my hand and stand with me. What is love without trust? What is peace without you? Why not choose to be with me? He said he's innocent, although she won't believe. The love they had just feels like yesterday. With all the fingers down. Oh, babe. How you doing? Where are you coming from? Wait, is, is that a new way that you welcome your husband? Besides, why are you why are you still dressed in your nightie? Derry, don't piss me off. I asked you a straight question. I demand a straight answer from you. Stop deviating from the question. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from work. So you now work on Saturdays? That you have to leave as early as 7 a.m., Derek. Look at the time you're coming back. Almost 5 p.m. I'm sorry. I would have come home earlier. The thing is, I went to the office because I had to attend to some customers who came to pick up goods they paid for. On my way back, I ran into an old friend. We got chatty and that's it. Just look at you. Confidently spewing lies out of your mouth. You think you're talking to a child? No, Derek. You think I don't know what to do when you're out of the house? Listen, Judith. I just came back home. Allow me to get some rest. I will not allow you rest until you tell me where you're coming from. Who is the girl you went to see? What girl are you talking about, Judith? What girl? I can't believe that you're looking me straight in the eyes and you're accusing me of seeing another woman. Oh, please save the pretense, bloody liar. What is love without trust? What is miss without you? Nana, I called you here so you could please Help me ask my wife where she's getting her dirty imaginations from. That she now accuses me of infidelity. Is the accusation true or false? You expect me to answer that? Answer the damn question! Please, you both should lower your voices. The children are upstairs, you don't want them to hear. I, I know they wouldn't want to see you both quarreling and, and accusing each other. It's not nice for them. Nana, it is Judith that is causing the issue here. Don't even go there. Double face. Yeah. Did you hear that? I don't know why she's accusing me of something I do not know anything about. We lived most of our lives together in Spain and I never for once cheated on you. So where is all this coming from? Derek, you haven't seen anything yet. If you think you can go out and mess yourself up with those dirty girls who can't even wash their panties and come back home and make me pretend I don't know what is going on with your dirty lifestyle, then you must be stupid and out of your mind. Wait, hold on. Is this the reason you convinced me to come with you to Nigeria? So you can be messing around? I don't blame you. Nana, can you hear that? Nana, you know me. Can you listen to that? So this is the reason you invited me to this meeting. Don't try it again. Don't! You took away the piece today, you started cheating on me. Why are you fabricating lies? Who is cheating on you? Wait, are you not calling me a liar, Derek? Judith, you're not just a liar, but you have become a bone in my neck. All you do is accuse me here and there. But you know what? If I was a cheat like you say I am, all this attitude of yours would not do anything. It wouldn't change a single thing. But instead, I am responsible, disciplined, but most of all, very loyal and to then you. shut up your mouth. Shut that thing you call a mouth. Shut your butter mouth. See who you're talking about responsibility and loyalty. A dirty pig like you. You stink. Oh, you think you can patronize me with this sugar-coated words of yours? 
You are a cheat and I know it. Well, what is going on here? Oh, Emma, please help me ask this woman. Ask this woman. Look, she is giving me so much pressure in this house. I have so much in my head I'm dealing with right now and she's adding to it. What exactly does she want? Do you want to kill me? Is that it? Die! You I want to die! I want you to die! Look at this thing! Cheat like you! No sense! Yeah. All you do is, is lie! Tell lies! You think I don't know what to do when I'm not with you? Rubbish! Take my hand and stand with me oh, What is love without trust? What is peace without you? Why not choose to be with me? He said he's innocent Although she won't believe The love they had just feels like yesterday We're falling fingers down And drift too far apart at you and now see a stranger oh what is love without trust what is miss without you take my hand and stand with me oh what is love without trust Derek is cheating on me I know it madam you have to be cautious I mean what evidence do you have to prove that Derek is actually cheating on you. I don't need evidence to prove beyond every reasonable doubt that he is cheating on me. That is not right. Nana, don't get on my nerves. I'm telling you that Derek is cheating on me. You stand there to tell me what is not right. But if you don't have confidence in me, why are you confiding in me? What I'm confiding in you does not give you the right to question my instinct. Your instinct? So your judgment is just based on your instinct. Oh, please. Let us go, please. Take my hand and stand with me. Oh, what is love without trust? What is peace without you? Why not choose to be with me? He said he's innocent. Listen, babe. Honestly, I do not like it when we quarrel. I mean, I, I hate to do anything that makes you sad. But I, I feel like you're misunderstanding this whole situation. Derek, tell me the truth. Are you cheating on me? Why on earth would you think I'm cheating on you? Why? You know, it's so unfortunate and disheartening that all these accusations are coming from my very own wife. Then stop doing things that will arouse suspicion. <sighs> Alright, babe. Listen, I'm sorry, okay? Can we just forget that the quarrel ever happened and all this never existed? You know I love you. Hmm? You are sure nothing is going on? Maybe nothing is going on. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. There is nothing going on. It's just the stress of work. This past few months has been very demanding. Honey, believe me. There is nothing going on. I could never cheat on you. You should know that, love. Hmm? My baby. My heart. The only angel that makes my heart beat. I'm sorry. Take my hand and stand with me. Oh. I swear this guy is a joke. <laughs> I like his movies, funny enough. The both of them. Oh yeah, he's great. He's great. Very talented. Ooh. Babe. Hmm? Yes, huh? You know, I was thinking. Don't you think it's high time I started doing something? I'm so, bored. Something like what? Something like opening a unisex boutique. What do you think? Um. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's that's a good idea. It's a really good idea. I mean, you've always had that in your mind, but do you do you think now is the right time? 
I mean, for you to open a unisex boutique, you need the right space that is very accessible. But don't worry about that. I'll just I'll contact my agent. We can start from there. that why did you end the call oh no it's not important i don't want to be distracted from this movie i'll just return the call later derek your mistress is calling you again right you don't want to pick the call because i'm here i thought you said nothing is going on why didn't you pick the call it was johnson that was calling look at it if it was johnson that was calling why didn't you pick the call Babe. you assured me that you're not seeing anybody else so you're cheating on me Honey, please, derek please, please just stop I thought we've been through all this. Your attitude is bringing it all back. I don't believe you. Since when did you start putting password on your phone? What are you looking for with my phone? I just asked you a question. Same here. Can I have my phone back? If you come close to me, I will smash this phone on the floor. And I mean it. If you're not hiding anything, why are you putting password on your phone? For goodness sake, Judith, what is your problem? What exactly is your problem? What are you looking for with my phone? Can I have my phone back? I will back? not give it to you until I find what I'm looking for. Judith, give my phone back to me. I will not! What is love without trust? What is peace without you? Why not choose to be with me? He said he's innocent. Although she won't believe... Honestly, Nana, I really don't know what is going on with her. Her attitude these days is becoming over the top. After all the stress from work, I come back home to get some rest, but no! She gives me wahala. A man can't even find peace in his own house. I mean, I deserve to be happy. Same applies to every woman. But the thing is that she has refused to make herself happy. All she does is accuse me of extramarital affairs. I don't even know where she's, she's coming up with all this. Where is it coming from? You will really blame her. You see, any woman that is in love tries to protect her man from an intruder, any intruder. Nana, there is no intruder anywhere. Are you sure you're telling me the truth? Come on, Nana. Even you? Please, do not misunderstand me. I just want to be sure that there's no one out there because, you know, try not to live the kind of life that will make her believe that really there is an intruder. If you'll excuse me, I need to attend to her. Please believe me when I say I love you. Please believe me when I say I'm free. Why will Derek put password on his phone? He has a secret he is hiding, and that secret must be revealed today. But madam, you have no right to go through your husband's phone. I mean, not without his consent. No, no, what are you saying? I am his wife. That still doesn't give you the right to go through his phone. I mean, what exactly are you looking for? Look. I am only tolerating a salient attitude because we are still in Nigeria. If we were to be overseas, I would have thrown him long time ago into the streets and put a restricted order against him not to come close to me or the kids. Madam, you know, my late mother of blessed memory once said something to me that still rings in my ears. She said, if you try to find out a man's secret, you will end up hurting yourself.
May I have the phone? For what? I will not release this phone until Derek opens the phone. What would you do if he opens the phone? I want to read all his messages and chats. I want to know who he's speaking with and who has been calling him. I want to know everything. What is love without trust? What is peace without you? Why not choose to be with me? He said he's innocent. Although she won't believe. Are you done going through the phone? He must have deleted all his messages. But I'll still find out. But the phone is still with you. Nana. He must have told all his stupid girlfriends not to call that I'm with his phone. That is the only phone that he has. Can you stop? I don't trust him anymore. Judith, I honestly don't understand you. After so many years of being together, you still don't trust me. Please give him his phone. Please believe me when I say I love you. Please believe me when I say I'm for Stay with me through the storm. Let him decay while the sun shines. I depend on you. Yes, I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> mm -hmm. School is fine. Not yet, I'm still at home. I have lectures by 1 p.m. How are you? How is work today? I said how is work today. Okay. Where are you? The environment is so noisy. Hello? Okay. Yeah. Lucy, she's fine. Yeah. Sure. She will hear. Hello? Mm hmm. Stop, Joe. <laughs> You know I love you too. You know I love you. Mm hmm <laughs> Stop now. <laughs> yes. Yes, I love you. I, you know that. It's okay. Take care of yourself. And thanks for calling. I love you. I love you. I love you. Bye. Bye, Joe. <laughs> Bye. <coughs> I go share love. <clears throat> Who is stopping you? <clears throat> I said I go love you because you kept saying I love you, I love you, I love you. How many times? I already said I love you. I said I love you. My I friend, love you. you know that. Madam, can we talk please? No, no, I'm not in the mood for that. All right then. Well, you sit pretty while I do the talking. But madam, why are you always fighting with your husband? Derek is pissing me off. One minute is making me happy, the other minute is getting on my nerves. Then why 
why don't you concentrate on that one minute that he makes you happy? And peace will reign again in this house. Uh, just yesterday, your children, Richard and Purity, came to me in the kitchen and they were saying that they don't like the way you and your husband are always quarreling and exchanging words. They're children and they are watching. Please believe me when I say I love you. When I say I'm free, stand with me through the storm. Hold my hand when I'm lost. I depend on you. Lucy, what? it's almost one already. Get up, let's go. No, oh, maybe I won't make it today. I, I don't think I, I, I will be able. Why? My stomach aches badly, and that's because my monthly flow just started. And my waist aches too. I don't know. Your monthly flow again? I thought you said you were done since last week. Yes. That particular one finished and this one all over again. You know, sometimes it comes out twice a month and this is one of those months and also, I don't know, I'm really having stomach ache. I don't know. Hmm. Sorry about that. Yeah, I will get you some pills on my way back, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me go again. Yeah, it's already after taking Try to come home with me, okay? It's okay. Already. Let me just study for some minutes more then. How many more minutes? We just go. Hmm? How many more minutes? Like 50 minutes. We just go. Okay, fine. Hello, Philip. It's me, Lucy, Mabel's roommate. Yeah. No, not at all. Just that Mabel is not feeling too well and she asked me to call you. 
No. She can't even talk. She has refused to eat something. She said that I should tell you to come just... Yes. Immediately. Okay. All right. I will. Of course. Okay. <laughs> Is she okay? I love her. She's very cool. Very cool for me. I am running down to her. Idiots. Where's mother? Um, she actually rushed out to get some pills. Really? Why did she wait for me? Well, the, the pain was getting too much and she couldn't wait anymore. Just don't worry. She will be back very soon, okay? So, I will entertain you while you wait for No, 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 no. I don't need, no, I don't need this. Um, I want to see my belle first. You know, she's the reason why I'm here. Do you want your woman to kill me? How? Listen. Before she left that house, she said to me, Lucy, use this drink and entertain my mom when he comes. So if I don't do it, of course you know who she is and how she reacts to things. Really? Okay. Thank you. Of course. Okay. Right. This is yours? Yeah, this is mine. Okay. Um, okay. Sit down. Sit. Yes. <laughs> sure. Thank you. Listen. Okay. Sit. Yeah. Yeah, sit. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Sit down. Sure. I'm sorry, okay? Sorry. Yeah, sit. Your mistress is doing a wonderful job on you. I must commend her. What's that supposed to mean? Which responsible man will leave his house as early as 5 a.m. and come back by this time? Judith. Can't you see you're becoming very useless? Please, don't start. Please, don't start. Oh, so you think by raising your voice and shouting, you can scare me? You must be mentally deranged. In fact, you're very stupid and you're disgusting and irritating. Come to think of it, why won't I leave this house early and come back late? When I can't find peace of mind in my house, you have become nothing but a nag! Are you stupid? Are you mad? Are you talking to me that way? You slapped me! And I will do it again and again! What is wrong with you? Judith, you slapped me! Yes! Damn! Jerry! It's only a coward that beats up a woman. No, 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 let him hit me! Go ahead and hit me! Hit me! Listen, thank your stars we are not in Spain. Else I'd have kicked you into the street and put a restricting order against you. No sense. Judith, this is Nigeria and not Spain. So do not threaten me. Now the next time you lift your hands and hit me again, I will not be able to hold back my anger. Get your hands off me. You both stop it. Stop it. Stop acting like children. Be adults for once. Listen. This is just the beginning. The war just began. Stupid man.
What is love without trust? What is miss without you? Take my hand and stand with me. You. No, sir, please, can you help me? Please take me out from here, please. Take you out from where? Anywhere, please, sir, please help me. I don't understand. Mabel! Mabel! So please, please. Hold on. I've been talking to you, but you're not responding. And it's getting late. Where do you want me to drop you off? I don't want to go back to my house, at least for now. Why? Said that's my story. Wow. I should have been cautious enough to read the handwriting on the wall. I took her as my bestie. I never knew she's a snitch. Well, like they always say, to sup with the devil, you need a long spoon. I've learned my lessons wow. already. Not everyone that smiles at you are your true friends. Yeah. So now that you don't want to go home, where are you going to stay? Can you please take me to any nearby hotel? I have my ATM card with me. A hotel? Yes. I hope you're not expecting me to follow you to your house. I don't know you. <laughs> my house? <laughs> please don't even go there. I have enough troubles in my house already. You know what? I'll just... I'll take you to a nearby hotel so you can lodge in. It's already late. Thank you, sir. Yeah. He set me up. Why? Tommy, why? Why did you set me up? Is that why you want to kill me? I did it because I love you. I love you so much, Philip. I've done everything for you to notice me, for you to understand how I feel about you. But the more I try, the more you prove to me that you've got your eyes only on Mabel. And that makes me wonder if I am not good enough for you. You are not. Yes, and you can never be good for me. Just look at you. You appear to be friendly, but you are evil. You know, you, you should really be grateful to me right now. How? How? 
That's because I saved your ass, Philip. Yes, I did. I just saved you from contracting a deadly sexually transmitted disease. Mabel is not who you think she is. Hey, now what's up now? Why you look on your face? What's up? Where's Mabel? Oh. Oh. Dele, I'm in a big mess right now. What happened? Where's Mabel? Where's Mabel? Um, she actually rushed out to get some pills. Really? Why did she wait for me? Well, the, the pain was getting too much and she couldn't wait anymore. Just don't worry. She will be back very soon, okay? So, I will entertain you while you wait for uh, No, 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 no. I don't, you know, I don't need this. Um, I want to see my belt first. You know, she's the reason why I'm here. Do you want your woman to kill me? How? Listen, before she left that house, she said to me, Lucy, use this drink and entertain my mom when he comes. So if I don't do it, of course you know who she is and how she reacts to things. Really? Okay. Thank you. Of course. Uh, this is yours? Yeah, this is mine. Okay. Um, okay. Sit down. Sit. Yes. <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Listen. Okay. Sit. Yeah. Yeah, sit. <laughs> Sorry. Sit down. Sure. I'm sorry, okay? Sorry. Sit. Yeah, sit. <sighs> Guy, how on earth will you allow this to happen? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Don't let him lie. The letter was a setup. That's, that was a setup. I believe she dropped my drink. Yes, I, 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 can, I cannot even remember anything. The only thing I can remember right now is that I, I saw myself half naked with her. That's, that's, that's the only thing. Please, please, I just can't know what. I want you to calm down and explain all this to Mabel. And then I believe she will understand. You will not understand. I have, have searched for her. I have searched for her everywhere. I have called her number. Her number is switched off. Do you know that I went as far as paying some guys in the campus to, to help me and search for her? But nobody can. They, they couldn't find her. Oh God. You know what I would say to you? What you have spoiled yes. I believe with time you will get to sit her down and explain all this to her. But some girls can be so mean and dangerous. Chad, that girl is evil. She's evil! Yeah, calm down, calm down, calm down. Just she. Um, Batman! Looking for this? Ah, oh, thank you so much, sweetie. Not so fast. 
where are you going? Today is Saturday. What sort of question is that? It's obvious you don't have any important place to go. You're going to see your mistress. Honey, please. I do not have the strength for your trouble this morning. Can I have my key? You must be stupid to think I'll give it to you. You think because we're in Nigeria you can mess me up? No way. Fine. You can keep the key. I'll use the cab. What is love without trust? What is me? Supposed to come and see me today now. Hi, babes. You're welcome. Please sit. Let's let's talk. Serve what is your presenters and go straight to the point and tell me why you invited me here. Philip, can you sit? So tell me why you invited me here. You're shouting and people are here. I'm shouting. So you did not talk of that before inviting me here. Huh? Listen. I okay, just just sit for a while. Can you? Sit for what? For the last time, tell me why you invited me here. I understand you're not comfortable. Can we go over to the house and talk? If you don't mind. You are sick. You are sick. Stay away from me. Stay away from me! I really do care about you, Philip. Believe me when I say I do. I've done everything to get you off my mind. It's not working. I am going crazy. Please just give us a chance. Yeah. But you'll be able to take my brain off your mind. Why insult me? Is it because I am throwing myself at you? I don't need to a devilish body. See, let me warn you. I'm warning you for the last time. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Please, people are here. I don't care. I don't care. See, right now, I'm blacklisting your number. Just don't you ever in your life come close to me again. You're not hot. Please, 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 I'm sorry. Are you on your way out? Yes, I am. I actually came to see a friend. Can you just give me a minute and just call? Okay. Hello? Wow. This guy looks so clean and handsome. I think I like him already. Oh, I'm sorry. I was on the traffic, so that was why. Are you done with the meeting? Okay, no while and I'll hook up later. Uh, okay, take care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, bye, bye. Thank okay, you. So your your friend, is he still coming? Oh my friend, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, it's trouble with the meeting. It, well, and uh, it was a short one. Sorry about that. No problem. Just what enough of my friend and that. They're talking about us. <laughs> so, I'm Deli Ademola. Lucy Benson. Lucy Benson. What a beautiful name, Lucy. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I like you. You're my kind of girl. How do you mean? Uh, what I mean? Uh, 
You're bold and you're beautiful. <laughs> Thank Funny, you. right? No, it was. It's okay. Thank so, you. I can um, say you're on your way out. And yes. My friends left already, so what to do? <laughs> okay. Before then, do you mind having your contacts so we can keep it fresh? What do you think? Okay, okay. If you say so. Uh, well, uh, since you're on your way out, so let me see you. <laughs> oh, sorry. Exactly there. Yes. Exactly. Just walking. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh, my dear. How are you doing? How are you I'm doing? fine. <laughs> Thank you. It wasn't that difficult, right? No, not, not At really. least I'm not living in the bush. No. <laughs> so. No, how are you doing, my dear? I'm fine. Happy You're welcome. to see you. Happy to see you again. <sighs> nice, nice. Thank you. Oh. Welcome to my home. Okay. Thank you. Come to think of it, it's been a while I visited the office, so. I just go upstairs, dress up and follow you. Honey, you're not dressed up, but you know I have customers waiting for me at the office. It's dressing up the problem now. Don't worry, I'll go with you like this after I'll be in the car, so. Jesus, since when did you become like this? Why are you only suspecting me of one thing or the other? Every little opportunity you have, you attack me. Why? You want to know? Yes, I want to know. Fine. I started acting like this, you started cheating on me. Derek, I have realized that you are not appreciative at all. You are not grateful. I saved you from going to the prison back in Spain. You were guilty of the charges leveled against you, but I still stood by you. And this is all you can pay me back, cheating on me. I made you who you are today. You are my everything. I want you to be proud of me. Please, oh, let's go. I'm ready. Let's go to your office. See, don't break my heart. Don't break. If you do, I go die. You ring the melody in my heart. Oh, don't leave me, baby, because Sherry Coco. If you leave me, baby, I go die. You my Sherry Coco. Sherry Coco. What bothers you? It's nothing. Nothing. The grey hair on my head tells you I'm no longer a child. There's a saying that goes that when a, a child stands in front of elders and lies, he is heading for doom. I want to ask you a simple question. Do you have a mistress? Nana, would I lie to you? I do not have a mistress. <sighs> That's good to know. But then you need to look deep inside you. I mean, what is it that you do that cooks up your wife's uh, uh, suspicious attitude towards you? What is it that you're doing? I... Uh... 
Anna, can I confide in you? I might lose millions, a whole lot of money, and my business. But that's not even my greatest fear. The thing is, I might end up in jail. What happened? And Judith, I, I just don't know how I can tell her. I don't know how to tell her because, <laughs> come on, how do I tell her that when 90% of our savings is invested in this business? What happened? The containers that I shipped into the country was accosted by the NDLEA. They found hard drugs in the containers. How come? Oh, God. I can't lie to you, Nana. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I was aware of the incident. My friend and business partner smuggled in hard drugs in the shipment without letting me know about it. It was until later I found out. But then there was little I could do. He, he then promised he was going to give me a large interest. God, I was just so stupid. I mean, why did I even ever listen to him? I was just being so stupid. Ever since then, I have been living in constant fear. Fear of what could happen. And now this. And Judith. God. How could I even tell her about it? When she made me promise never to get involved in hard drugs again. And now my business, my shipping license, my family, my home, everything is being turned upside down because of my greed. It's okay. You don't have to be too hard on yourself. Uh, this is actually too huge to hide from your wife. You need to let her know. Maybe she would come up with some kind of solution. Two heads the same is better than one. <sighs> Please believe me when I say I love you. Please believe me when I say I'm free. Stand with me through the storm. Hold my hand. Derek, the look on your face says it all. All is not well. What is the problem? My dear, you won't understand. My situation is like being stuck between the devil and the deep blue sea. I see. Your heart carries so much. Derek, you can talk to me. Speak to me. Honestly, I wish I could. Well, I don't think you'll be able to comprehend it. Oh. Then put a smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> More like it. You know you're a good man with a large heart. You're a nice man. And I appreciate all you do. Your presence, coming around to spend some time with me. Derek, I really appreciate you for that. Thank you. You're welcome. You know I appreciate you too. It's always fun being around you. Can I give you a hug? At least. <laughs> okay, I think it's fine. <laughs>
I have to stand up. Yes. <laughs> All, right. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. David, everything will be fine, okay? Just stay strong. Everything will be fine, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Okay. Um, unless I forget, um, I'll be going to school tomorrow morning to submit my assignment. Oh, so okay. Uh, you know what, just let me know when you'll be back. Okay. And also send me your account details so I can support you with transport fare. Since I won't be able to take you to school because I have a couple of things I need to take care of. No, it's okay. It's fine. I understand everything. Hmm? I know you're trying to avoid your wife from seeing us together. I understand. Okay. I wish you luck in school, though. Thank you. Trace me down to this hotel. Has been calling my phone. I've switched off already. Uh, you know what? I need to just check out of this hotel. Mabel, Mabel oh, what do you think you're doing? I need to check out. Would you please calm down? I don't think so. Is that what you think? It's not just what I think. It's what I'm saying. I didn't just come to the hotel. I first stopped by at the office, and then I observed to make sure no one was tracing me, and then I came here. Derek, I'm, I'm worried. Is there something you're not telling me? Something like what? I don't know. You tell me. Because your attitude is quite questionable. Derek. I don't just want to see him. I do not want to set my eyes on him. It hurts so deep finding out how he has been cheating on me. I mean, professing fake love to me. See, him, I want to forgive me, and that I don't want to happen. I do not want it to happen. Hey, Miguel, listen. I know you have a good heart. But if you want my advice, hear him out. Listen to him and hear what he has to say. I mean, this is the same guy that you said has been sponsoring your education. Even the reason you're able to afford to pay for this hotel is because of him. All thanks to him. Are you saying you're going to throw away all the love and all the care because of a single mistake? Derek! What are you talking about? Are you calling betrayer of love single mistake? He has been cheating on me. Having an affair with my roommate. Derek, she's my best friend. That alone I cannot comprehend. I do not want to see him. In fact, I cannot trust again.
for him already. Wow. Who is there? It's Derek. Come in. Hi, Mabel. Hi. Mm. I'm expecting you. Yeah, I had a couple of engagements, but I'm here now. It's okay. Sit. Thank you. Excuse me. Um. Hello? Derek, I've been calling you. Why are you not picking my calls? I've been very busy. I'm sorry about that. Busy doing what? Where are you? Judith, I just told you I've been very busy. If you have something important to say, just make it quick. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, since you have chosen to be with your mistress, don't worry. I will deal with you when you come back. Judith, I am not... Hello? Hello? Can you imagine? She hung up on me. It's okay, just calm down, okay? Just calm down. It's okay. Derek? Yeah? It's okay, calm down. I've told you never to call my phone, especially when I'm at home. I'm leaving the house now. I'll see you soon. I must find out what you're hiding today. of your pain. Trust me. Let's just feel ourselves and forget our sorrows. These past days we've been together and I'm beginning to like you. Just stop it. Please stop it, Mabel. I cannot have a relationship with you. Why not? Am I not good enough? Mabel, please don't do this. I am a married man. And I love my wife so much. Hmm. <laughs> you still love your wife. I don't just know why you still love a woman who doesn't give you peace of mind. Hey, stop. Please, Mabel. Just stop this. Despite the troubles my wife caused, she still has a special place in my heart. I adore her. I'm not the kind of man that, that bites the hands that feeds him. That woman is the reason I am who I am today. Are you trying to say you don't feel anything for me at all? Do not get it twisted, Mabel. We are friends. And I do appreciate you. The times I spend with you, it helps me ease off the stress. Like seriously? Wait. Derek, are you kidding me? So the reason you, you're coming close to me is just to ease off your stress. Your stress from home and from work. Are you kidding me? You see? All men are same. Maybe you're, you're, not, you're not getting it right. You're, not, you're getting it all wrong. Okay, tell me. Would you rather I lie to you? 
Is that what you prefer? And I lie to you, have sex with you and then dump you. Is that what you want? Because you know that I am married. And I would never get married to you. Do me this favor. If you can work with me, you will not regret it. Oh, madam, you know this is against our rules. I know. Look, Anita, I will triple your salary if you can do this for me. All right? What's the room number? Derek, is that you? Room service, ma. Room service. But I didn't order for anything. Come in. Who are you? Yes. Shut up your mouth and feel lost. See, I am not following you guys to anywhere. If it is Philip that sent you guys, go back and tell him that I'm not. I don't want to say anything. Shut up. Keep your mouth shut. Shut up, madam. You are not in any position to ask us questions here. Just do as you say, follow us. I'm not going anywhere. Not so fast, buddy. I would like to see the face of the intruder before her last breath. Bring her here. What did he say? She has been caught. I will deal with her ruthlessly. Ah, she's about to face fire. <laughs> we do not understand what children want to do. This generation of children are crazy. They go after married men. What do they think? The married man will leave his family, wife, and children are just married. Them. Hand over to the police. What do you say is our friend that she slept with my husband? No. I will deal with her my own way. Well, whatever you decide to do, I am solidly behind you. <laughs> Richard. Yes, How are you? Thank you? How are you, Purity? Thank you. How are you? Thank you. you guys going and freshen up? Hello, Lana. Are you back? 
Um, but why are you both staring at me like that? Shut your mouth. Ain't you ashamed of yourself? You have the guts to cover up your sin. You lied to me. I mean, how could you? How, how could you lie to me? What is it? What are you both talking about? You're cheating on your wife. Oh my goodness. Are we still about this again? Oh, please, don't try to cover up. Because for every lie you tell, you need loads of lies to back them up. Derek, how long have you been keeping your mistress in the hotel? Surprised? Yesterday, I traced you to your hotel. I found that you lodged your mistress in the hotel. Derek, I will deal with you. Please just listen to me, okay? I, I can explain things. Explain what? Shut your mouth. You guys can come in. Who just called you? Judith, baby, please just let me explain it to you. I think you're misunderstanding things. Who are you? Where you been? Down. Remove the blindfold. Mabel! Mother! Come on, 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 come Nana, how could you? I trusted you. I confided in you. Little did I know you were snitching on me with your misfortune daughter. Using her to destroy my home. Do I really deserve this? Oh, madam, I swear. I never knew anything about this. I promise you. I mean, I, I would never go out of my way to hurt you. Why would I do that? I mean, why would I bite the hands feeding me? It's just your mouth. You double face, you are a snitch! That's all you are! Ma, my mom is telling you the truth. I have nothing to do with your husband. Please you shut it. your mouth, you worthless bin. Today will mark your end. Hey, madam, give us order what to do with them now. Nah. None of them deserve your forgiveness, madam. Please. Just tell us what you shall do with them. Honey, honey, please, I beg you, do not do anything stupid. I'm not having anything intimate with her. I, I am not. Derek, you're such a disappointment. How could you stoop so low to cheat on me with Nana's daughter? That's what I'm saying. How could you? Nana, yes. are you trying to tell me that you're not aware of all this? I am not. I have no knowledge of what is going on. I promise you. I, I haven't. You've been so kind to me from, from the start, from the day I got employed here. I mean, why would I do that to you? And they never, I, I never even knew that my, my daughter had met your husband. I, I have no idea. I, 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 I don't even know what is going on, honestly. I, I promise you, madam. Please. What am I doing in the midst of all these people? You know, I can decide to end your life here and now. Please. But I will not. Because the evil you do lives after you. But there is Stephen. Hold on. Hold on. Take them to the GRA police station. I will call the DPO and instruct him on what to do with them. Mm. Get out! Please. Get out! Please, just listen to me. Please, I beg you, do it. Baby. Why would I cheat on you? Why would I cheat on you? I mean, for what reason? You know me! Baby, baby, listen to me, please. I am begging you. <laughs> My love. I actually invited you here for us to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Okay. You can remember vividly, this was the first place we first met. Yes. And uh, we met unexpectedly. <laughs> yes, we did. Well, I have been thinking and I've come to a conclusion that uh, this is the right time for us to take our relationship to the next level. How do you mean, my love? You see, I love you so much. And from the very first day, I've never stopped loving you. 
So, what I'm about to do now is from the depth of my heart. Okay. Yeah. My love, please, as I've said, this from my heart to you. And please don't say no to me. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for accepting. Thank you. Thanks for accepting. Honey, this is beautiful, amazingly beautiful. That is because you're beautiful. It's amazing. <laughs> Because she's a liar and a traitor. Really? But that says she was innocent of what you're accusing her and her daughter of. Don't mind your father. He was a master brain behind the whole incident. He perfectly planned it with Nana. You should have not come back to Nigeria. When we were in Spain, you and Dad don't have issues. But we're making plans for us to go back. I agree with Dad. No. But why? Stop asking me stupid questions, but if you go upstairs, pack your things, we are leaving. Now! Listen to me, please. Derek, take your hands off my box now. Please don't do this. Just allow me to explain. You know I love you so much. I don't love you anymore. Oh, you please don't take the kids away from me, please. Listen, I don't love you anymore. You have disappointed me and I will never forgive you. Honey, I am not lying to you. My meeting with Mabel was unexpected. She had issues with her boyfriend. Then coincidentally, she ran into my car. She asked me to help her. I saw how really scared she was. Like there was some danger somewhere. So I decided to help her. I allowed her into my car and drove off. It was later that she narrated the whole story to me and asked me to take her to a hotel. Derek, I need to go. Children, let's go. Oh, baby, please. I, I'm... Can you leave the way? Children, please. I beg you in the name of God. Good day, everyone. I see you all about to travel. Yeah, Mr. Derek Oputa, right? Yes, I'm... I'm Derek. We are under arrest for drug trafficking. Drugs? Derek, what is she talking about? I'm sorry, Judith. Sorry about what? husband smuggled 10,000 tons of hard drugs into this country. The container was accosted by my boys on duty. And the case is under investigation. We have proof beyond every reasonable doubt that your husband, Mr. Derek Oputa, was the sole owner of that container. Yes, I, I own the containers, but I am not the one who put the hard drugs in them. Honey, you need to believe me. I had nothing with the hard drugs being in that container. Ever since the container got seized, I have been living in constant fear. I, I was just looking for the right words, how to table the matter before you, but every time I tried to, my heart just kept failing me. But believe me, honey, when I tell you this, I swear to you, I did not put those drugs there. I did not! Derek, drugs again? You forgot it so soon what we went through in Spain and you made a promise to me never to get yourself involved in such dirty business. Why did you lie to me? I swear to you, baby, I did not lie to you. I, I, I did not lie to you. I just... I did not put those drugs in the containers. I could never do that to us. 
I swear to you. Officer Tony. Take Officers, please just wait. Wait, I'm talking to my wife. Just wait. wait. Honey, I, I have nothing to do with the hard drugs. You should believe me. You know me. I'm your husband. Mr. Drake. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. So move it. Honey, please. Move it. I beg you. You need to believe me. You need to trust me. I'm your husband. Mr. Drake, let me this. I have nothing to do with Move the house. I didn't put it in there. Mr. Derrick? Move it. I love you. Baby, just believe me, please. Kids, okay, this, this is a misunderstanding, okay? Move it. It's a mistake. I assure you, Daddy had nothing to do with it, okay? All this will be signed out soon. Move baby. it. Believe me. Please believe me when I say. Stand with me through the storm Hold my hand when I'm lost I depend on you Proud of me. Proud of me. Proud of me. Everything I do, all I do is. Oh. <laughs> so my best thing is off the market. Oh, you can't say that again. <laughs> oh my God, see you. I am surprised. Daily surprised me, babes. We are just few months gone and I'm speechless. I'm excited. I can only imagine. I'm, I'm so happy for you, babe. <laughs> I cannot wait to be your chief bridesmaid. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can I go on a mouth? I believe you. <laughs> take it, take it. That's my baby. See, eh? This calls for celebration. We need to, you know, take some chilled, you know. Calm down. You know how we do it now. God is too hot, though. <laughs> babe, maybe this one we did talk. We need to chill. Aww, this is you need to see how he looks nice. Hey, God, when? Mabel. Hey. Mabel, I've been standing here waiting for you. I was told you are in school today. Mabel, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm innocent for what happened between Lucy and I. She set me up. I'm sorry. Fidi, what exactly do you want from me? Your forgiveness. Please, just forgive me. See, let me tell you, if, if I'm guilty of that act, I will not be here begging for your forgiveness. I would have moved on with her. Please, just find a place in your heart to forgive me. She set me up. Philip, I hold no grudges against you. Of course, you know I love you so much too. I love you too. And I've missed you. If I don't love you, I won't listen to you. Thank you so much. I missed you. I miss you, baby. Please believe me when I say I love you. Try it. Please believe me when I say I'm free. Stand with me through the storm. Hold my hands. I depend on you. Please believe me when I say I love you. Please believe me when I say I'm free. Stand with me through the What are you doing here? Look, I had compassion on your daughter and you and asked the DPO to grant you bail does not give you the right to come to my house. Get out! Madam, please calm down. Please. I should calm down when I'm surrounded by a bunch of betrayers and traitors and liars! Madam, I have never betrayed you. Neither have I lied to you. So what are you doing here? I, I, I saw the news where they uh, uh, showed your husband. Are, are you going to sit here and allow your husband go to jail? It's not fair. You need to do something about it. I don't it. care about him. He's a drug trafficker. He should face the law. Madam, to the world out there, he's a drug trafficker. But to you, he is your husband. 
the father of your children. You wouldn't want your children to grow up with the stigma that their father is an ex-convict. Look, in a few days, I'll be leaving this country to Spain with my kids. What? I already filed for divorce and I will forget everything about Derek. I will forget he ever existed. Madam, please. I beg you. You need to have a rethink. It's, it, it, you can't just leave him. As a matter of fact, I, I made my daughter swear on the holy book that she never was involved in any way with your husband. He was just kind to her. And she said he always spoke good of you, how you helped him in Spain, and the good things you did by bringing him down to Nigeria. He actually told her that he loves you so much. You can't give all that up. Listen, I stood by Derek. I saved him from going to jail when he committed crime of drugs back in Spain. He was into drugs. I saved him and he made a promise to me that he will never involve himself in drug business again. He convinced me to come to Nigeria with him so we can invest. I supported him because I didn't want him to be involved in that kind of business. I wanted him to stay away from his friends who were always luring him to that dirty business. I made Derek who he is today. What did I get in return? What? You know, men are like babies. That is why they need us to direct their path. Please. Derek truly loves you. And you, you can't let him rot in jail. You know, just, just give him another chance. I beg of you. Then you stop all the nagging and shouting. Because when you nag and shout at him, he, he, he closes up. He doesn't feel like telling you things. If you had let him be, he would have told you what was happening. He, he didn't import the drugs. It's just, you know how it is. It was just a mistake, please. His friend planted the drugs in his container. And that's why he's landed in jail now. Please. You have to be there for him. Encourage him. Give him another chance. And you'll be glad you did. I promise you. He's a good child, you know. Bring him back to you and you will never regret doing that. He really loves you. And I know you love him too. Please believe me when I say I love you. Please believe me when I say I'm free. Stand with me. Mommy. Mommy. Uh, Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, young man. How are you? You're welcome. Who is he? Mommy, his name is Philip, the guy I told you about. The one that has been helping you in school? Sorry, Mom. Oh, my son. Thank you so much. You know, my daughter has told me so many good things about you. Wow, really? Yes, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go in. Mom, where are you coming from? I'm coming from uh, my boss's house. But uh, the good thing is that I've settled the matter. Ah, mm. okay. let's, let's, let's go. <laughs> uh, um, ma, sorry, I, I think uh, this is the right time to do this. To do what? Will you marry me? Mom? I, yes! I'll marry you. Oh my God! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you. Please Thank believe you. me Mommy. when I say Stand with me through the storm. Hold my hand when I'm lost. I depend. Wow, I'm super, super excited. <laughs> I'm really, really happy for both of you. Thank you. Not just only coming together, but becoming a future wife. Uh -huh. Yeah, Thank you. that is every woman's desire. Mm. Right. Man, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Baby, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> One more thing. You know, I'm not happy with you guys, you know. Why? I was not invited for your engagement party. Uh -huh. you, you, not you nice. invite me for your own engagement party. Oh, so you are paying back now. <laughs> wait, 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 Dele. Are you trying to tell me that you're engaged to Of course, he is. What to do? <laughs> I, uh, hmm? Wow. So, so, yes, yes. <laughs> tell me, who's the lucky one? Mm, the lucky one, actually, she's not around at the moment. She's out of town to inform her parents of our visit. But soonest you meet her. So at least 
Tell me what that is. No, <laughs> yeah, no. be a secret, you know. I'm yes. surprised. Yeah, 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 of course. Wow, I'm happy for you. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, 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 no. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> what is what is this? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> He's so lovely, man. Guy, right. yes. come back, come back. One more time. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe, thank you. Happy to see you guys together. Same you guys, my heart. Babes, mm -hmm. I love it. Oh, really? Oh, here comes my brother, my friend. <laughs> oh, you guys know each other? Yes. Really? This is the girl I told you. If the girl has set Mabel and I up, I'm calling Mabel right now to come. Oh, here. No, 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 no. Please, 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 hold on, hold on. What are you talking about? Lucy, what is he talking about? Um, I can explain. Explain, explain what? what? Huh? Can you imagine? So you want to be happy? No, you want to be happy? Oh. You are evil. You are evil. Lucy. So you are the same girl Philip was talking about? No doubt. She was the one you came to see the day we met. Yes. She was the one, yes. Who is the honey? What my bell you couldn't You know what? If you know what is good for you, let me have my engagement ring now. Explain what? Put your leg back. You know what? You are evil. And an evil person like you does not deserve an expensive ring like this. If I ever see you near my house again or you call my line, you are finished. <laughs> you see? You want to be happy. You want to get married. You want to be happy and destroy others, other people's happiness. Hmm? You see? The evil you did to Mabel and I has finally come back to you. But let me tell you, Mabel and I has finally come back together again. Yes. And this time around, we are getting married. <laughs> Evil child. Hey. Ah, Lucy. Ah. I'm sweating from I'm sweating from my hand suddenly. <laughs> Madam, meet my son-in-law. I decided to bring him today so you would believe everything that I told you. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> <sighs> nice. They're here. Good day, everyone. Madam, Barrister Oyoyo asked me to inform you. He will come and see you later. He's in court with another client. Thank you, officer. Mr. Derrick, your wife is a loving woman with a kind heart. Not every woman will stick with her husband in this case. So I advise, stay clear from drug business. A word is enough otherwise. 
Madam, I beg to take my leave. Thank you. I am so sorry. I never intentionally wanted to break the promise I made to you. Believe me when I say this, that this beautiful family we have is my life. The big mistake I made was not exposing my friend and business partner for what he did. I wanted to impress you. I wanted you to be proud of me, from the kind of money I could make, from the huge interest he promised he was going to give me. And baby, I promise you I would never ever allow greed to possess me again. I am contented with you, our beautiful kids, and this wonderful life that God has blessed us with. Thank Barista Oyoyo. He was able to prove your innocence. He said you were not the one that planted the drugs that your business partner did. You owe him plenty of thanks. What about the kids? They're in school. Okay. I miss you, baby. Miss you too. Come here. Please believe me when I say I love you. Please believe me when I say I'm fooling. Stand with me through the storm. Hold my hand when I'm lost. I depend on you. Me. Proud of me, proud of me. Everything I do, all I do is for you. See, don't break my heart, oh. Don't break. If you do, I go die, yo. Oh. You ring the melody in my heart. Oh, oh, oh. Don't leave me, baby, because. 